Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, uh, good hello everyone to everyone watching. I am today going to show you how to make a song from scratch, preferably of the um, EDM slash house slash progressive house slash melodic house genre. Okay, step number one. Come up here to your BPM, drop it down to 128. Step number two, um, let me let me think about this for a second. There's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video, but that's okay because... <clears throat> Next, we're gonna go grab a piano, okay? Let me... This is a mess, I really need to organize this. Okay, so I'm picking a piano here, let's pick this preset. And what we're gonna do is make chords. Here's how I personally make a simple chord. Ready? Come up here to this little doodle, hit that, hit minor, and pick whatever note you're, you're, you're doodling with. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here, here we go. Let's say we want to do something in A. Okay. Don't, don't mind my keyboard clicking because it's kind of loud. So let's see what we got here. So all I did was hit A and it automatically lay these three notes down. Okay. So I'm just gonna drag this out like this. I don't like that. So we're gonna do a different one. Let's try E, but I'm gonna put it up here so it's a bit higher. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is just play around with this, okay? So we're just gonna, so we're gonna, bah. okay, like that. And then we're gonna lay them out here. Oh my goodness. I literally cannot click for some reason today. Okay, good enough. Uh, so basically, um, you're gonna put your dang chords down and then go up here, well I guess, yeah, let's just make a different pattern just for fun and name it p uh, uh, Piano um, Melody or like lead. So we're going to use the same piano. Um, and then what are we in now? We're doing it one in E. So let's try to make a melody with E. Here we go. Okay, so I came up with something just off the top of my head real fast, so we'll see if this works any good. I it might sound like shit, but we'll see. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Okay, I fixed it a little bit, and I'm not gonna change it too much just because this would take like many, many, many hours if I tried to get everything like really perfect so what we're gonna do we're just gonna take actually we'll just do one section here and we're gonna go find a sweep down sample like this one is totally fine here make it quieter like these Hold on, I'm gonna fix this one more time. Pardon me. Okay, yet again, fixed it a little bit. It might sound like complete but whatever. Uh, let's see, why am I doing that again? Oh, okay. So we have the sweep, let's call this house for bid. Okay. Um, so basically we're gonna just add some ambiance to this, like, um, this wind sound here. And um, so we're gonna start with these two um, and then slowly progress. Uh, so we're gonna clone this melody here and clone this and make another melody with this piano. So two different pianos here on the same pattern. 
just like that. Um, and I think, honestly, I'm gonna leave this one for over here and just simplify. Like, now that we already have the melody, I'm just gonna change this so that it's really simple at the beginning. So it's just a few notes at the beginning, okay? Like this. Okay, I think I got the little thing here, so we'll just copy this. Uh, let me just clone this one again, just so we have it over here. And then I'll change these two to just the simple one. So it'll be like this. So like that. So basically we're gonna just have um, a little sweep up here or like a sweep transition, let's see. Okay, I prefer to use symbol transition anyways, so. So that will do, just like that. And then we should add like a pad. So we're just gonna go copy these chords and go to the pad pattern uh, and add another thingy and find a pad. And if you don't have presets and you're using Nexus, just look through all these folders. There's like a ton of stuff. So let's just take this one for example. That sounds like absolute trash. So let's just use a nice one. Oops. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, I'm gonna just quiet it down a bit. We'll just put that down here. We could add some strings as well. So let's just um, add this. Um, go to strings, all strings, and then put them in there. Sorry, I had to rename that. Um, all right, so, so that sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's get some claps going, or a shaker in the background, rather. Let's get a shaker loop. Okay, this one will be good. Um, and then we're gonna do a little trick here where we go to the volume and we right click in it, create an automation, ah, a little, little automation clip. And uh, what I do to get this is so you can just drag it over here and it'll start its volume here. But we want it to be, so we're, first we're gonna copy the value of this volume so we don't lose it and mess it up and drag it all the way down almost. And then it can start rising up here. And then we can hit paste value. I think we just want it quiet the whole time though, honestly. So let's just keep it at a highest like 37, I guess. Yeah. We'll get another top loop as well to put in here. I'll save that for later, <laughs> the fill I just found, okay. Let's, uh, I don't know what else to add here. Let's do a little pluck, I guess, of the melody. Um, so we'll copy the melody and go find a pluck. We'll open silent and we'll find a pluck. 
That sounds like very stupid. That sounds cool. I feel like we could, uh, minus this delay though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that reverb so huge? Oh my God. Goodness. All right. So I have a good idea for this. Go to the mixer, make sure our pluck, oh, come over here. Make sure the pluck is selected here like that. And then right click channel routing, route channels to this track. We're gonna go over here and find an effect. We're gonna use this Tom LP filter. You can use whatever filter you want. You can use the Fruity Love filter or just Fruity filter. And then uh, I guess I'll show you with the, with the Love filter because that's more universal. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we'll just right click cut. This is the cutoff and automate the cutoff here. So we'll start low and start getting higher like this. Yeah, kind of like that. And then we'll just sweep into the build. I know it might seem like it's happening fast, but I'm just trying to show you the, the 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 basic sort of dealio here so we're gonna copy the top loop um and we don't need the pianos anymore but we can however use the pluck still and then we're gonna add a sweeped a sweeped a sweeped let's see sweep up medium Six, please. No, not six. Four, please. No, nope, not four. Two, please. That, oh, God, that hurt my ears. One, let's try. Uh, okay, 12, please. And quieter, please. And then let's have like a little breakdown section where we also filter in the main lead and the chords. So let's make a little lead here. So we make a lead pattern, we go and add silent. Let's find a, a thing. And also if you're loading like a preset bank in here, you just go to menu and then load bank or load preset. Uh, yeah. Uh, and just play around with some sounds in the bank you find. That's a piano. Excuse me. Get out of here. Boom. Okay, so we'll do that. And then add another sound on top of it. I'm just cloning it and then adding another sound on top of that. Ugh. God, these are EQ'd really, 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 really painful. All right, good enough. Clone, pick another one. Boom. Okay, so this one can be a bit higher uh, in octave, so you can come up here and just boom right there. And then we'll clone that one and add a, another sound. And I think this is the last one we'll add here. We'll put this one higher up too. But not that high, so we'll adjust it. Okay, that sounds good. So, we'll select all of them, right click and like, drag all of them so they're selected. Route them down here into a separate thing. Let's add a reverb. You can use the, the fruity reverb if you want. I just like this one more. So we'll hear this one. Sounds good. And then we'll take an EQ and we'll cut out these mids and adjust the highs a bit so it's not painful.
Okay, so that's not, uh, it could be more painful, but we'll just leave it there. Um, so, and then, uh, yeah, okay, so now we have that. Now we're gonna make one called chords. We're gonna go copy these boring ass chords and make yet yeah, another silent. I only have two presets for the chords, so don't worry, I'm not gonna be cloning um, too much stuff. So do that. And this might hurt your ears too, so watch out. Okay, not too bad. Let's see. Okay. I gotta make those a little sharper actually, hold on. Okay, that's good. And then I only have one more that I usually put over this preset, and that's this one. Uh, oh, these have to be higher, hold on. Okay, let's use those. So, now we'll select just those and route it to another insert. And again, add a reverb, but one that's a bit smaller. And we'll EQ this as well. So, let's do that. Okay, cool. Now, bass. So, here, first let's lay these out just so we don't lose them, okay? Let me move the, these. And we'll put the lead there too, like that. And now, bass, bass. So for this, I usually just try to pick either the top line of the chords or the bottom line of the chords and see what sounds better. In this case, it'll probably be the bottom line of the chords, so we'll see. So we'll add another one called bass. And we'll add another silent. I know this is tedious, but we're gonna go find a bass now. So let me see. And when you do the chord thing that we did earlier, it won't let you delete. Oh, oh, never mind. I take that back. Let's see. I think I might do the top one here. Okay, so I'll just, yeah, like that. But I don't want this bass, so. Those aren't even basses. And let's pick one that's a little more uh, deep. Hello? Okay, nobody's there, hold on. Uh, I don't know if I trust this one, but. Okay, I kind of trust it. We'll try it out, let's see. Yeah, that sounds fine. Cool, so what we're gonna do now is route those to a channel. And honestly, you don't have to EQ bass that much. This one has a little kind of a pluck to it, so I'll pull these down, but otherwise you should be fine. Now what is important is we want all of these to have that big like swoop swoop kind of deal that goes along with the kicks when it drops, so we're gonna make a whole separate insert called filter and side chain. So I'm gonna route these three to this insert and it's gonna, all three are gonna follow whatever I say is in this insert. So for example, so here's how we do that. Click on the lead, uh, find the side chain thing, right click, route to this track only. Chords, route to this track only. Bass, route to that track only. Now, check it out. Now I'm gonna add a kickstart. Pick this one and hear this. So we're gonna, just the lead or the chords or the bass is all gonna have this kickstart now. Easy. Okay, uh, although we don't want that right now, so we're gonna create an automation clip for it. Cause we don't want that quite yet. We'll have it like, um, 
I don't know. We'll find out. Anywho. Um, but we do really want a filter, though. So we can filter it up. So I'll use another filter on this side chain layer, like that all the ones are routed to. And create that. And have these kind of filter in. I think I'll have them lead up all the way up here. And now we'll have the build, yay. So let me get a little sweep in here first, like a crash uh, impact sort of deal. What am I doing? Yeah. Sweep down. Ah. Ah. Sometimes you really just can't find a good one, can you? I'm gonna use impact instead because this is annoying me. Oh, I'm also gonna change the top loop because it might get boring. What, what, what was I doing here? Uh, what was I doing? Finding a crash of some kind? Okay. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save the impact for the actual build, so it's good we have it anyway. We'll just go to drums, cymbals, crashes. Ah. No. Yeah. Okay, let's beef up this pluck as well. I'm gonna clone it and then replace those with the new one. And we're gonna add another pluck on top of this one. I don't know if I have any other plucks, but actually we'll just look through here and we'll find one. So let me see, I'll turn off that one temporarily and see. Oh yeah, I like that one. Wait, what? Why is this one? Nobody told me this one was so off pitch. What happened? Okay, that one will do. So we're gonna need a long sweep for this one. Um, but otherwise it's sounding pretty cool. So hopefully you stuck around. I'll use this one. So now we're just gonna have a like a little preview, like a little sneaky peeky of the drop, even though it's not a drop, but, oh yeah, I said I was gonna uh, replace the top loop, wasn't I? This one. So I'll try to find one that sounds like that. One moment. Yeah, we'll just do this one. So what we need to do is calm this down because it's kind of crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to replace the bass because it's almost like you can't even hear it. So um, I'm gonna replace it with a much thicker sub bass here. Okay, so we should be good now. I'll use the same pluck, but um, now we're just gonna, I, instead of making a build, I'm just gonna use a long fill, okay? Okay, so um, if you were to make your own fill, it's basically just like layer the snares. So it's like, it'd be like, see here, it's like snare, 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 and then just build it up. And so it's like, <laughs> I mean, everybody, we've all heard a build before, right? So we should be, we should be okay. And I'm gonna use this, um, this uh, fill instead of the fill in here, cause 
you know? We're gonna make it, like, sound super intense and, like, add this crowd. <laughs> this crowd clapping, okay? Alright, here we go. Uh, not too loud, though. Okay, so we still need drop claps, so let's find those. These should be good. And we'll just paint these on there, blah, 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 blah. So I think we can just make it drop now. Okay. So we'll just copy these, put them over here. Fix these end ones. Actually, yeah, some of them. Like that. Okay, and you'll see why it'll like drop into a second part with hats and whatnot. So, um, Fortunately, I have a kick to use. So we'll use this one and we'll just paint it on with the little painter tool. Uh, and now is the time when we want to take this kickstart automation and just crank it up full. Okay, so now is the time when we need like, we need these kick claps as our kick claps. What? Okay, I we need that the drop claps, not the kick claps. Okay, what we also need is uh, these rides. So we'll paint those on as well. Bop, 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 bop. But we'll make them quieter. Okay, since I like that pluck, I'm just gonna put in the extra effort of adding a, uh, another kickstart um, automation for just the pluck here. I will just do the same thing there. Cool, so now what's actually incredibly important is like one of these impacts, okay, like this. And it's gotta be pretty loud because you gotta, what the heck, you gotta like fill up the space. Okay, so I fixed a couple things and now I'm gonna clone these plugs and make them and put them uh, a bit higher. Okay, I also removed some stuff here so the impact seems a bit more um, intense. I guess. What I'm gonna do with this lead is up this a little bit and I'm gonna try to put a small sausage, fall puff sausage. <laughs> a small sausage fat there on it, okay? Okay, and you may be wondering why it's sliding. It's because I put up this main swing right up here. So that's why the notes are sliding and I think that sounds cool. For the second little section here, I'm going to add claps. So I already know a clap that I want. I want regular clap number three, that one. So we're just gonna put it every other kick, clap, kick, clap, kick, clap. Oh, I know what I forgot to add. That's lacking. I will add, here, wait. First, let's put a reverb on these claps. Click on that, make sure it's selected over here. Go back to the mixer, right click, route to there. Put a frickin' reverb on it. I'm going to add uh, what they call like an exhaust, okay? So it sounds like this. Basically, you just make it as long as like a kick or a clap or a ride, and you make it real quiet. So it just fills up the space in the background. Now I'm just gonna copy all this and drag it over here and drag those over here as well. And now we're just gonna um, copy these claps over, uh, like that, and now we're gonna add height, or hats, open hat. I could add the string and pad at a higher octave. Let's see. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna make a layer with just the pad. I'm just gonna route this here, and give it a kickstart to like what we did with the plucks before. I think with this lead here, I'm going to um, make it a little more interesting. Just add like another sound, okay? So final thing I'm gonna add here is this, this crash here so it doesn't get boring. Another thing you could do is add some more short fills. Just like in between here. This is about as simple as it gets, so 
Um, yeah, I don't know. This is just an example. I was just like giving a template sort of deal. So you can download it if you want. You can use it as a little template for yourself. Um, before we go though, I suppose I will add another sweep down so it doesn't end so abruptly. Sweet, okay. Uh, I can make some edits to it, but otherwise I showed you like the basics and the, the, some of the effects you can use, stuff like that. Um, that's a very quick way of throwing something together uh, just to, um, just as a little tutorial, I guess. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more. They're usually, the projects are usually not this shit, and uh, it's just because I did this in like 30 minutes. So, um, or maybe longer, I don't know how long it's been, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed regardless. Thanks for watching and see you next time.